Why, hello there, fans and frenemies. I, I apologize that I already started my sketch, but uh, I, I actually had thought I was already recording. Oops. <laughs> uh, trust me, you didn't miss too much. In any case, today I am working on the uh, my entry for the Anomaly event on Rio's. Uh, like I said, you're going to be seeing a little bit of Rio's art coming up here because that's what I've been working on lately. It's what I've been enjoying. So for the month of November, there is an event going on with these Anomalies. So uh, basically for this species, you have uh, like very strict guidelines on how characters are drawn, what markings they can have, and what those markings should look like. And these event, these these characters here are anomalies, so they are off base, or they uh, have special things there. They break the rules. They have illegal markings and features and stuff, and um, they look just dope. <laughs> they look awesome. And you can earn a raffle ticket for these by drawing them with these prompts. Uh, you can also earn them by having special items or uh, abilities, but I don't have any of those. So I will probably not win any of them because I'm only getting three raffle tickets per per character. And some people are getting nine each. Uh, oops. In any case, I'm still pretty hype about it. And I mean, hey, if I win one, it would be incredible. And I really hope it would be Chimera because that one's my favorite. <laughs> Uh, but, um, yeah, so I'm working on, this is my last one. I've done all of the anomalies except for the captain, and this is the captain. Uh, and you can do, there's three prompts for each character, and, uh, I'm doing the first prompt today, and I'm using my character Wisteria in it. Uh, and I'm gonna, let me, let me read you a little bit about it, because it's, it's got a cool little, like, bit written about it. Um, and basically, it's like this character that's kind of like a Cthulian creature is like ter like an ancient myth that turns, you know, creatures into anomalies or whatever, and they don't remember who they are. Uh, here, I'll, ju I'll just read you the bit. <clears throat> Stories long ago told us about a Riosian with powers not known to any living being, powers given to them via an item that they shouldn't have had. They captured others with the mistaken intent of helping them, forcing these Riosians into a state of amnesia to keep them as pets, slaves, companions. Each story recalls it differently. Some say that once your eyes lock with the creature, your soul belongs to them. Others say that they pretend to guide those who are lost, only to have them spiral down further into madness. Now it seems the return of the Sky Dwellers has given this Riosian a chance to emerge once again. Several posters hanging around the towns describe those who have been lost. For days, weeks, months, even years, all rumored to have been taken. Several towns seem to have spotted some Riosians unlike any they have ever seen, some bearing slight resemblance to those on the posters, others horrifyingly twisted. They do not remember who they were and do not respond to those who knew them. It is as though they are new beings, desperate to find an inkling of familiarity. Will you help them, or will you run from their beastly looks? Uh, yeah, so that's the the little bit for the event itself. And then for this specific character, uh, its name is the captain. And here's the, uh, here's his, their little description. <clears throat> when their ship crashed, captain found themselves washed ashore, injured and alone. A voice called to them and promised them a place to rest. Desperate for any sort of salvation, captain followed and found themselves enthralled. Years later, now accompanied by a capuchin, they wander the shores of the continents in search of a way back out to sea. They do not recall their name and will need help to realize who they once were. You've recently set out on a seaward journey. The waves are rough and crash against the bow of the ship, violently rocking the vessel back and forth. The howling winds are so harsh, you fear the sails may even tear in two. The entire crew is shaken and sickened from the treacherous voyage, but at long last you spy promised land in the distance. And the first prompt, the the one that I'm, I'm working on right now, is... Da, 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 da. <clears throat> As a notorious pirate, Captain was sure to have buried mounds of treasure somewhere along the edge of the continent, and you had been lucky enough to have come across an aged map, the paper soft and pliable, with age. <laughs> Your voyage led you here, and you finally found the beach where the map marks, but there's a figure wandering the shores, guarding something, but they can't remember what. Captain catches sight of your map, and eyes filling with familiarity demand you hand it over. Will you give it to them in fear or kindness, or offer to them to join your venture? Perhaps you refuse, wanting all of the treasure for yourself. Requirement. Draw your Riosian on the beach with Captain with their decision of what to do with the map. And uh, so that's what I'm working on. And right now I'm obviously working on the extremely complicated and frustratingly difficult markings for Captain. Like, this is why I left this one for last. This character looks amazing. 
I have no idea how to draw this. Like, look at them. This is an incredible design, and I literally have no idea how to do it. Um, but yeah, so, working on that. Uh, and it, I've already got enough experience for, uh, or I've got enough credit points for Glit for a little while, so I'm working on Wisteria. So, uh, they're in Warrenfall, like, on an icy beach. And, uh, I, I think that Wisteria is kind of like, hey, I, I don't really care about adventure, but you're cute. You wanna, you wanna go on an adventure? I'm into an adventure. The adventure is, this guy's hot. Cause look at them. I mean, look at these. It's a good design. I'm into it. Um, I don't, I mean, I, I don't really get the monkey thing. Like, I, I get it cause it's like, it's pirate. Pirates have like, you know, parrots and monkeys and stuff, but like, I don't like monkeys. I don't really want to draw it. So I'm like, I don't know. It's just sort of tacked on. Like, yeah, there's a monkey there. Don't worry about it. I don't care. I don't care about the monkey. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so that's like the event and that's kind of what I'm working on. And, uh, yeah. So, um, I had like a fun idea for the background here, but eh, in practice, it didn't look as cool as it did in my head with like the distant sea and the icebergs in it. Like, I'm just not really that great at backgrounds, but at least I'm getting a little more practice. Um, it ended up just feeling kind of bland, and, like, when I sat down to do, like, anything in the foreground, I didn't know what to put. Like, it's a beach. Shells, maybe? I don't know. So, it didn't have as much depth as I really wanted. I was a little disappointed, but, you know, I'll, I'll, the next one, I, I'll do something a little bit more dynamic for then, I think. Because uh, I do have to do two more prompts before I'm completely done with the anomaly event, and I've totally crushed it. <laughs> Uh, but I've done the rest of the characters, and I, I think the art that I did for them was pretty dope, too. But I really, really like how the captain looks in this piece. I think if I could just cut them out and then dump the rest of it, it would be awesome. <laughs> uh, but what are you going to do, right? All you can do is your best. Uh, I threw in a couple of shells, and then I, I was like, nah, i got to deepen these shadows. So I, I, I made the shadows a little darker, a little bluer. And um, yeah, I, I think that actually just about wraps up this piece. I threw in a little icy mist and stuff just for some, and then snow, of course, because we're in Warrenfall and it's always snowing. Uh, just to kind of give everything a little top off, but yeah, thanks for watching.